you um, if you just eat a regular flax seed, it wants to just pass right through your body and become a plant. And so there's natural inhibitors in there that don't allow you to absorb all the nutrients. And if you ground, whether you ground the flax seed or you use a liquid, because it has been exposed to the air, it starts to oxidize or spoil really quickly. And so um, what, what she's done is sprouted the flax seed. It kind of tricked the flax seed to say, hey, it's time to grow, so release these nutrients. But sprouting actually stabilizes the essential fatty acids so that this can stay good for two plus years. So that's what's really nice about this. And then because it's organic, you don't get the toxic chemicals, and it's raw, so you also get the enzymes. And then you're getting the omega-3s, which help with your brain health. Um, your brain is about 70% cholesterol or fat. And we're putting essential fatty acids in our diet to help with that. So this can help reduce risk of depression, anxiety, neurological disease, and that can reduce inflammation. And um, omega sixes are in omega sixes are in a lot of fried foods. And so fried foods raise your inflammation within your body. Omega threes reduce that inflammation. And for the standard American diet, the ratio is about twenty to one. Omega sixes to omega threes. So there's, if you know somebody that's in pain a lot, or just having chronic pain or a lot of other issues, the first area that I look at is what are we eating? Because those high heat treated oils are going to be really high in that omega six inflammation causing. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Is what's better, chia seed or flax? Um, flax has the highest omega three ratio, um, but they all have omega three. The chia and even a couple of broccoli seeds also have it. Too. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is just a regular flax. I'll pass around and smell. It just it has a nice, nice smell, flavor. Um, and then this is the berry flax. So it's the same as that one. It just has a berry, um, organic berries in it. And this is the sprouted broccoli chia flax. This has the highest ratio of omega threes compared to the other ones. Um, and then this one is also really good. <laughs> All right, I do have a, I do have a question for everyone. Uh, yeah, there's um, I, it's it's not. It's good in the sense that it, it'll still blend up everything, but this will liquefy the fibers of the water. So the ninja um, still kind of has it. it makes, like the little raspberry seeds, the strawberry seeds, those are hard to like round into a more refined texture. But it's still better than nothing. Yes. Okay. All right, so we're actually going to put um, one of the protein powders in here. Does anyone have a preference? I do. I'm running out of the berry, but so I have chocolate and vanilla to choose from. Chocolate. Okay. Let's go with chocolate. But it's not. We're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna um so just to kind of give you an idea of like why food is so important. I mean we hear about eat right, eat healthy all the time, but the US the US government spends about one point two trillion dollars every year on health care. And can you um and, and so there's a lot of money spent. And can you guess what percentage of diseases in the US um, can be prevented just through what you eat, according to the US Surgeon General? Can you, can you guess what percentage? 
Yeah, they, they admit at least 68% of diseases in the U.S. are diet-related. Um, and so, and there's a, there's a there's doctors who look at colons and, and say it's upwards to 90%. So yes, um, that's very true. And of that, so when we look at healthcare, Hippocrates was the father of modern medicine. He coined the term, let food be thy medicine, and let medicine be thy food. And all doctors have to do a Hippocratic oath, which first says, which says, first do no harm. They all have to do that. And ironically, we've, we've kind of strayed away from that. Can you guess what percentage of physicians get trained on nutrition? Okay, that's really close. Yeah. It, it's 6% of physicians get trained on nutrition. And so the very person who started modern medicine <coughs> is the very person that they're not even following to this day, right? And so and when we look at health issues, we can see that there's definitely some opportunities. <coughs> Thank you. All right. Any preferences on which plaques to use? I have the regular, I have the tri, and then the bear. The bear. The bear. The bear. The bear. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put about two tablespoons or a half a scoop in there. And then the last thing that I'm going to add is trace minerals. And so for about 90 years, our soils have been depleted of the vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals because of the industrialized agriculture industry. So we're literally pulling all these fruits and vegetables from the ground and not replenishing the vitamins and minerals. And so why is that an issue? Has anyone heard of scurvy before? Yes. Okay, so scurvy is due to a vitamin C deficiency. And if you don't get enough vitamin C, you can get that. And then the other thing, um, like, like, have you heard of the aneurysm before, brain aneurysm? <laughs> it's basically when a blood vessel works in your brain, and that's due to a copper deficiency. And so there are over 74 different trace minerals that are available, and if any one of those is deficient for a long enough time, you can create a health issue down the road. And so not to scare you, but it's just the reality of what we live in. So a lot of our health issues do have a root cause. It's just we may not know what that cause is. A lot of times it is due to a deficiency of some sort. Um, so this is a organic plant-based trace mineral. It comes from deep within the earth in Texas. And what it does is it actually, um, the, the trace minerals are 7,000 times smaller than a red blood cell. And so they're able to pass through inside and give your body those, those cells neutral. And then when your cells, when all tr trillions of them are operating the way they should, you just you feel better. Um, some people have reported uh, growth, being able to grow their hair, their nails, um, that are reduced nausea. Um, and a lot can go to sleep, wake up when they're supposed to or when they want to. And so it has a black, um, slight earthy flavor, <laughs> um, very slight, um, and it's, it's, it's black. So that's uh, we're going to put a little bit of that. You can't taste it in the smoothie, but it is something to add to help the nutrients absorb better in the actual in your body. Uh, I'll pass it around so you can see it. I mean, it has like trace minerals include uh, boron, calcium, uh, carbon, chromium, copper, gold. There's a lot of different things. How much is that for? Um, I will um, cover those at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. All right. All right, so that is everything. So what I'm going to do, actually, for you guys is blend up a smoothie before I add any type of um, essential oils. And then I'll add the essential oils and then, and then let you decide which one you like better. And so do a little before and after here. So I'm actually going to blend it up. What's nice about a blend tech is there's a smoothie button. So you just press that and it'll go for about 30 seconds. Can I try it on the Okay, this is the <laughs> Says that you, a healthy adult needs about 
25 grams of protein per day. Unless you're an athlete, then you're going to need a little bit more. But with everything in here, you get about 25 grams of protein. So um, it becomes more of a meal, and then you're also um, you also get good source of fiber. So you're you're slowing the impact of these fruit sugars into your bloodstream, which is good as well. So I will maybe have an assistant of some sort. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll distribute some of these. All right, I'll give you a uh, four. <laughs> We're waiting for cheers or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, I was like, hey, you know, let's go at it. We're <laughs> hardcore. I know, I said don't, 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 don't uh, drink from the side that put my hand on. Well, I'm Thank <laughs> you.